in this video we will discuss about homeostatism what is homeostatism home homeo means blood status means stop so uh, suppose if we have cut or injury bleeding automatically stop after few seconds or few minutes how it happen uh, how it stopped by that mechanism automatically takes place in the body is known as homeostasis okay so whenever bleeding will happen this one automatically will stop it is a physiological process bleeding stop okay that mechanism name is called as homeostasis homeostasis is a physiological process so it is a physiological process by bleeding is stopped after injury uh, this protecting the integrity of that vascular system after tissue injury so this one protecting the integrity of that vascular system after tissue injury whenever any injury takes place Uh, this one not pathological condition physiological condition bleeding stopped after injury this name is called as homeostasis homeostasis involved in uh, platelet clotting factor and endothelium at the site of vascular injury so it involves in platelet clotting factor endothelium at the site of vascular injury result in the formation of blood clot uh, okay result in formation of blood clot which serves to prevent or limit that extent of bleeding so that one limit that extent of bleeding how homeostasis takes place they have five four steps how that homeostasis process takes place four steps one is uh, vasoconstriction uh, second one is primary homeostasis or blood formation secondary blood formation clot stabilization and re resubsorption so uh, four steps involved in this homeostasis process vasoconstriction primary blood formation secondary blood formation then clot stabilization stabilization so this one is the blood vessels this one is the endothelium endothelium okay this one is the site of injury every one is intact okay endothelium intact intact uh endothelium release uh, here okay this one is the distract that injured area is distract whenever injury first blood vessels undergo vasoconstriction wherever injury will happen that place that vasoconstriction happen so less uh, blood coming here so less bleeding it is transient and temporary this process is the temporary uh, temporary one lining of blood vessels so lining of blood vessels intact here here distract local particular point okay particular local area that infected area only distract so here what will happen vaso construction happen so less blood will coming so less bleeding Uh, it is transient and temporary only second step name is called as uh, primary uh, homeostasis or uh, blood formation how that primary blood is formed primary blood is formed by platelet so the platelet multiple platelet are coming here there are forming a blood okay there are forming a blood at the site of injury they are sealing okay they will try to seal sealing the site of injury so their blood do not go out okay so here sealing process so blood not come out uh, it is resuming the integrity it uh, sealing the site of injury it is sealing that site of injury it is not permanent again it is temporary it is very weak it will be break down of 
after few hours uh, it it is not stable it is temporary unstable to stabilize it it will converted into secondary black now how the secondary black formation will happen it formed by clotting factor in that lumina blood we have clotting factor 13 okay 12 13 like that all of them inactive they uh, will become active they will start active by either intrinsic pathway or extrinsic pathway ultimately cascade okay uh, will start ultimately here cascade will start one will activate another so other will activate third one third one will activate fourth one like that uh, finally likewise uh, finally it will activate factor number one the name of that factor number one name is called as fibrinogen this fibrinogen will activate fibrin so ultimately fibrin will formed that factor number one factor number one coming and stabilizing the primary black now it becomes stabilizing primary black is made up of platelet when it is stabilizing by vibrin it is called as secondary black now it is a secondary black secondary black is stabilization by primary black by uh, okay secondary black stabilization by fibrin fibrin ultimately uh, when healing takes place because of that formation of uh, primary and secondary black so because of uh, that platelet and fibrin primary and secondary black ultimately the healing takes place the healing takes place because of that formation of primary and secondary black now anti-thrombatic factor required here so here we need this anti-thrombatic uh, uh, factors we want to remove okay this here um, once healing we want to remove that obstructed area we want to remove um, once healing we want to remove or resolve it once healing is here so we will require anti-thrombotic event so for these are the four event we want to discuss one by one in detailed so first process vasoconstruction it is a immediate process we know it is a immediate process this one is automatically will happen okay uh, it is mediated by reflex neurogenic mechanism okay so no presented okay. wall of that blood vessels that injured area wall of the blood vessels nerves is presented this one undergo that vasoconstruction so it have that name Ref, uh, reflex neurogenic mechanism so this first one is that platelet formation this one is the transient and temporary one bleeding would resume if not for activation of platelet and the coagulation factor okay bleeding would resume if not activation of platelet and the coagulation factor so second thing is primary homeostasis the formation of that platelet uh, black how that platelet black formation there are three steps here platelet addition platelet um, activation then uh, aggregation platelet aggregation three process involved in this process formation of primary homeostatic black so this one is the wall of the blood vessels uh, endothelial line okay here that injured area okay here now platelet is coming and binding so platelet one 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 it will come under binding binding to that a soft endothelial cell this one is the soft endothelial cell here it will come and binding this process name is called as addition all the platelet having granules okay inside it having granules they will release that granules out it will activate other uh, granules so this process name is called as activation uh, alpha and delta two type of granules is presented and next another row of platelet will come and form 
bond between platelet and platelet so this one name is called as platelet aggregation now we see that robin uh, harshmohan diagram so this one is the blood vessels this one is the endothelial cell here only injury happened okay here platelet how that platelet attached with the help of uh, that receptor here this blue color one is the receptor glycoprotein 1 and 2 with the help of platelet only the, the receptor only that affected area having receptor the platelet will join it here this process name is called as addition okay after that that platelet having receptor uh, it inside it having granules it will releasing that granules it will calling other platelet also so here it will releasing these granules by uh, platelet also having that uh, receptor receptor uh, number glycoprotein 2b and 3a so this one this uh, factor this receptor response for bond formation between one platelet to another so first uh, endothelial cell platelet attachment this process name is called as addition one platelet is joined to the another platelet that name is called as uh, aggregation aggregation so platelet having receptor glycoprotein 1a and 2a bonding endothelial cell then these are the two receptor uh, this receptor glycoprotein 1a and 2a absent means it is causing disease it causing disease name is called as Vernald Solier syndrome that platelet and platelet aggregate uh, okay attachment this receptor absent means it causing disease name is called as Glozone Glozman Glozman disease Glozman disease two type of two receptor is important otherwise platelet not attached here so all the bleeding will happen finally it leads to death mainly bleeding uh, both uh, receptor is absent means excess bleeding will happen mainly affected conjunctinal mainly that umbilical cord bleeding will happen finally it affected that newborn this glycoprotein <laughs> 1 and 2 not directly bind with the sub endothelial cell okay not directly bind with here see so here bridge is there that bridge name is called as van willi brand factor okay so bonding platelet to platelet this receptor a glycoprotein 2b and 3a response for bond between platelet to platelet uh, this process name is called as aggregation uh, so this one is the platelet uh, platelet having two receptor this one is glycoprotein 1a 2a responsible for addition that means uh, sub endothelial cell to platelet this uh, glycoprotein 2b and 3a response for aggregation platelet to platelet attachment one platelet attached with another platelet first step uh, in this affected area platelet addition process will happen attachment process next one is in this uh, platelet having granules it will releasing two type of granules alpha and delta granules is there it will releasing it will calling other um, uh, platelet also so second step aggregation process will happen here so platelet activation and secretion it having two type of granules alpha granules and dense granules alpha granules containing fibrinogen fibronectin factor um, 5 7 examples then dense bodies are delta granules having atp adenosine triphosphate and diphosphate also calcium also serotonin and epinephrine these are the granules platelet aggregation via glycoprotein receptor uh, glycoprotein uh, 2b and 3a that process mediated by fibrinogen which form between adjustant platelet and via glycoprotein receptor platelet to platelet so disorder of platelet function defective platelet addition addition process affected means it causing disease name is called as Bernard Solier syndrome Bernard Solier syndrome defect in platelet addiction 
so patient having pro bleeding problem second one is uh, this uh, platelet uh, defective platelet aggregation means what is the disease name is called as glanzoman disease glanzman disease dysfunction of glycoprotein 3 3a 2b okay so both condition excessive bleeding mainly affect a newborn so it causes death secondary a blood formation this one primary one is the unstable one we want to become stable uh, so deposition of here fibrin conversion of uh, that uh, soluble plasma fibrinogen into solid mass of insoluble fibrin uh, then here two type of pathway will activated uh, intrinsic pathway and the extrinsic pathway extrinsic pathway directly activate factor number seven intrinsic pathway directly activate 12 so 12 will activate 11 11 activate 9 9 will activate 8 now both are common only 7 directly will activate 8 after that common pathway 10 onwards uh, 8 will converted into it um, okay active uh, activate will leads to 10 then 10 to will 10 leads to 2 2 leads to 1 so now this will activate fibrin oh, that one factor number one name is called as fibrinogen fibrinogen will activate will converted into fibrin so it go to that primary blood formation all the uh, this um, clotting factor presented inside only but inactive form when injury takes place platelet addition activate that uh, granular receptor aggregation process takes place primary blood is formed then uh, two pathway uh, that intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway okay that uh, intrinsic path extrinsic pathway directly activates some uh, factor number seven intrinsic pathway will leads to first to 12 then will lead to 11 11 will lead to 9 9 will lead to 8 8 activation number 10 after that common pathway common pathway will activate 2 2 2 1 so that um, so ultimately factor one activated it is a last factor okay so this one is the last factor it will activate fibrin so factor one fibrinogen will converted into fibrin it will go to primary black okay inside that dot okay inside uh, that one so ultimately uh, form to secondary black formation so this one is the notes format um tissue factor binding activate factor number 8 and 12 after that uh, after uh, this one is the cascade of reaction uh, so both pathway activate commonly 10 after that fibrinogen is converted into fibrin then uh, platelet aggregation process this one is the secondary hemostatis process last one is clot uh, stabilization so last step clot stabilization here ultimately healing takes place because of that formation of primary and secondary black so here anti-thrombotic factor we recured we want to remove that clot so uh, we recured anti-thrombotic event so clot reabsorption and tissue repair takes place